Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today I'd like to introduce you to the new DeWalt FlexVolt 60 volt max cordless and brushless 9 inch cutoff saw which can cut concrete up to 3 and a quarter inches in depth and it can also cut metal such as pipes and rebar. It runs on one 60 volt max battery. It can be purchased either as a kit or as a bare tool. The kit comes with two 9.0 amp hour 60 volt max batteries. One of these batteries can cut up to 25 feet of one inch scoring in concrete or it can cut 30 CMU blocks in half or it can cut 80 pieces of 5 8 inch rebar. It has a high performance brushless motor that provides up to 6500 RPM. It's excellent for making fast and efficient single pass cuts and scores in concrete, paving stones, brick, block, and rebar. It has a beltless all metal drivetrain which helps to make the saw durable and reliable. The saw has a latched and sealed battery box to protect your battery from dust and moisture. One of my favorite features about this saw is the water feed system. You have an option of hooking up a water hose to the saw to make your blade last longer when cutting in concrete and to reduce the amount of dust that's kicked up during cutting. There is also a built-in water shutoff valve on the saw as well as a quick release valve. These features make the saw OSHA compliant for dust management when cutting concrete and masonry materials. I weighed the saw without a battery or a blade at 11.0 pounds which makes it much lighter than comparable gas models. This cordless saw can be used to cut horizontally or vertically. If you're using the DeWalt Tool Connect system, it can be attached here for easy tool tracking. The saw has a heavy load indicator light which tells you when you're using a lot of battery power. To change the blade, open up the sealed compartment like this and pull out the battery and here's your blade wrench. It's, it's stored right here. Now we select either a concrete cutting blade or a metal cutting blade. I'm going to put on the concrete cutting blade and you see there's an arrow right here. It goes this way and there's also an arrow on the guard right here. So they line up. So it goes on just like this. Then there's a button right here that you have to depress and tighten up the blade. There we go. The guard has five positions. This is the first position right here. Now you depress this latch and it goes all the way to number five. And then there's the intermediate areas right here. When using this saw, always use the appropriate safety equipment. Here I am cutting a metal pipe with a saw. It has a great deal of power and makes quick work of these metal cuts. I'm using a 9 inch metal cutting blade with a 7 8 inch arbor. Here I am cutting masonry blocks. Notice that there are no clouds of masonry dust to breathe in and that the cuts are very clean. First I make my lines on the block, cut the first side, flip the block over and then make the second cut. This can be a huge time and money saver on a job site while keeping the air safe to breathe. When cutting concrete, it's best to make a few passes rather than try to cut the maximum three and a quarter inch all at one time. First I scored the concrete to get a straight line. Here I'm making my second pass. Here I'm making my third pass which is cutting to about 2 inches in depth. At this depth you might hit an occasional piece of rebar which the diamond blade will cut without a problem. Here I'm making a fourth pass which is giving me the maximum 3 and a quarter inches in depth. In conclusion, this saw is a money maker. Concrete cutting to 3 and a quarter inches in depth usually costs about $10 per foot with a minimum fee of 200 bucks. One use for this saw is for cutting trenches across sidewalks 
to run plumbing and electrical lines. Another is for general demolition. Let's say you'd like to cut and trench across the sidewalk in order to run electrical wires underneath that sidewalk. So this is uh, the 2020 NAC code and it's going to tell you how deep you have to bury your electrical lines. And uh, the way most people would do it would be right here with a non-metallic raceway. That's uh, 40, schedule 40 PVC and it's usually gray and it's uh, made for electrical wires. For instance, if you come over here and you have a sidewalk that's four inches thick and no vehicular travel on it then you come right over here and you see that you only have to go uh, four inches underneath that slab uh, to put your non-metallic raceway and if you look on this table there's uh, different depths for different applications for instance right here if you have a two inch thick slab you would need to bury your non-metallic raceway 12 inches under the sidewalk. I'll put a link in my video description for the DeWalt 60 volt max 9 inch cutoff saw kit. I'll also put links for the DeWalt Flexvolt 9 inch diamond cutting wheel and for other DeWalt demo tools such as the new DeWalt ExoCore sledgehammers, the DeWalt demo hammer and the DeWalt compact reciprocating saw. And if you need to cut metal with just a minimum of sparks, I'll put a link for the DeWalt cordless 5-inch bandsaw. Thanks! I hope this video was helpful.